So I know I've said it in previous content drops, but when I say this is the biggest one of the entire year so far, it's not even close. We got a brand new feature program featuring 30 new players, one from every team. We got the big boy collection with our first huge 99 overall that isn't Randy Johnson, Frank Thomas, or Roberto Clemente. We have a new always intense pack, a brand new card series to talk about, headliners, and a lot more. Content today's nuts. So without wasting any more time, let's hop right into it. So it's going to be the longest go over. So I feel like it's only right we hop in, take a look at the future of the franchise program, the brand new feature program in the game. Important to note, it is a four week program. The previous two, it's only been like a week or two for each of them. This one's going to be a little bit longer. And right away, I want to point out there are so many cards in here. Starting out with the flashback and legends pack, you got a shit ton of different cards that you're going to need for the George Brett, which we'll go over in a little bit, and just other collections along the way. <laughs> They're actually kind of good too. This Austin Meadows, 103 and 104 power. So he's definitely a lot of budget options on this list right here. Same with the NL side of things. This Noah Syndergaard, he has outlier on the sinker, a five pitch repertoire another really good budget pitcher but the one I'm gonna go after of course I need to nope not Bill Mott definitely not Bill Mosrowski I need to go after Kest Daddy not the best stats in the world but it's fucking Kest Daddy there's also a KB in here which actually looks pretty solid versus left-handed pitching so some decent options I mean like what the hell 117 and 120 power he can't play a lick of defense but holy hell man that's wild and that's just packs you get at like 10k along the way but you're gonna be able to earn I think just about every single one of these cards you got a while until you earn your first future of the franchise program and one thing the biggest change that I've noticed so far it's still set up the same where you can only earn 12 of the 30 cards but in the face of the franchise program it was set up to where the first pack for that division was a random card you didn't get to choose it and then the second one was a choice pack instead both of them are going to be choice packs so you can get any two cards that you want if you complete the entire reward path. Starting out with the ALEs, we got Gunnar Henderson. Looks all around really good hand stats, solid fielding. There's really not a bad card in the entire program that I've noticed. 97 hits per nine on Brian Bolello. Doesn't have outlier anything, but still solid. There's just so many options along the way. Oswaldo Praza almost has 100 contact both sides. Good speed, great defense. Got Josh Lowe, and then you got this guy who looks really good, especially versus right-handed pitching. I'm gonna go over these cards really quick just because I do want to post a video later today ranking all 30 players so let me know what you think your favorite card that you've seen so far is I mean if you're talking about all around good players Khalil Watson's up there he's pretty good at just about everything Brett Beatty I'm excited to see I thought this would be one of the best cards in the entire program and I wasn't too far off one away contact right one over power right and he's still good for lefties with good defense this card's definitely gonna be really good for a lot of people. Got Bryson Stad, who a lot of people dislike, and then Brady House rounding out the NL East. There's just so many good players I wouldn't expect to be good that are really good. You want to assess, but his younger brother has 97 and 100 power with 82 defense, 84 fielding. He looks really good. And then Nick Prado also looks like a stud. 108 and 100 power. He has 92 fielding. Doesn't matter too much because you're probably going to want to stick him at first because he only has 52 speed. He's a lefty. I, I think that's going to be the two cards that I'm going to go with here. But here's some other options. He looks pretty good as well. Jackson Job has nasty stuff. Does he have anything? Not really. Then NL Central. We got Pete Armcrow, Austin Hendrick with some big time power, good fielding, solid speed. Garrett Mitchell. It's going to be the guy I go after no matter what just because he's a brewer. But good contact. 92 fielding, 94 speed. So if I parallel him, he's going to be insane. Hunter Davis is one of the better catchers. And then we got Mason win for the Cardinals. Dude, I'm telling you, they like juice the hell out of every single one of these cards. I haven't seen a bad card yet. Reed Detmers, 102 hits per nine. Doesn't throw very hard, but that 102 hits per nine is going to be insane. 102, 97 power with 92 fielding, 97 arm for Shane Lagliers. You got Matt Bush, who just throws gas. I don't think he has outlier. He does not. 
but he still has 99 hits per nine. He's going to be really good. And then you got Justin Foscu, 107 and 112 power. Dude, this program is nuts. It's going to add so much versatility to people's lineups. I love it. But at 250,000 XP, you can get another cover athlete pack. So you can slowly make your way towards that Joe Mauer. Then I believe this is finally the last one. The NLS, you got Blake Walston, 97 hits per nine. He looks all right for a lefty. This is one of the better cards in the entire program. This Michael Taglia, diamond hitting, diamond defense, can play first, left, or right. Please stick him out first. He has 48 speed, but he's a switch hitter with 109, 107 power and 95 fielding. This guy is going to be insane. Bobby Miller is another card that's up there for one of the best in the entire game because he has a five pitch repertoire that includes a sinker, 102 hits per nine, and he also has outlier on the fastball. So it's going to be reaching triple digits. Luis Camazano has really good all around hitting stats. And then you also got another catcher in Joey Bart who looks very similar. But you can keep going. You'll be able to earn these packs each one more time. So a total of 12 throughout the entire program. And the last one you get is at 475,000 XP. But you got four weeks to get it. I'm kind of disappointed that there's no Takashi pack in here along the way. There's a cover athlete one, but no Takashi. But you can earn these through gameplay XP, daily moments, future program moments, legends and flashbacks. They each have their own missions that'll give you 500 or 1,000 XP each. There's a lot of them. You have collections where you can collect Lou Gehrig. So if you haven't done that, it's a really easy program. And right there, you got 10,000 XP. That's going to be a free pack. And we also got Colorado Nike City Connect uniforms. We got a brand new City Connect jersey to go over. We'll go over that in a little bit. Week one exchange, you can exchange all these players. You got a new Conquest map, which I, of course, I'm going to go over post all the hidden rewards for this so be on the lookout for that and then here are the colorado rockies city connect uniforms you can earn an 89 overall chuck nasty usually pretty good card in diamond dynasty and then here are the uniforms a lot of people don't like them i actually do i thought they would have been cooler if instead of green it was purple but i still like the design so that is the new future program i know we went over it really quick but just i'm gonna be posting the top 30 cards at some point tonight so just be on the lookout for that let me know who your favorite card from this program is now we gotta talk about the big boy collection, the George Brett collection. You need to earn 16 out of, I believe it's 18 now. Okay, just came. Maybe you need all of these. That's kind of weird. They said you could bypass one. I am very confused about this. But either way, you collect all these vouchers or the Joe Mauer and then the Babe Ruth. You get 16. You get this 99 overall retro finest which is a brand new series in the game george brett 125 and 120 contact 110 and 96 power 89 fielding a lot of people hated on this card when it uh, got announced but this card looks nuts like it's a must-have card this card's insane and if you've ever used a george brett card you know his swing it's just nasty they made it very hard to get all these cards especially with all the new cards that came out today there were only four possible opportunities for this now you need six out of seven to get the milestone one. So it's going to be very difficult for people to get this done. You also need 27 future stars to get this George Brett. You can only earn 12. You need 27 of the face of the franchise cards, bro. That's insane. You could only earn 12. So I'm definitely going to need to do a lot of grinding to even get the vouchers to get that George Brett. But now we hop into the packs. We got some new packs, a brand new always intense series, which features a retro finest Ryan Wilson in the rare round. 95 overall, Nick Castellanos maxed out contact and power versus left-handed pitching. This card's gonna absolutely rake. And then a Marcus Simeon, which is far and away the least likely option if you get the rare round. Base round, Jorge Planco has a really good swing. I also like the stats on this card. Gold glove, Adam Duvall can't hit a lick versus left-handed pitching. This card's honestly terrible. See with this Brock Holt, why is he in here? Can play every position, but he ain't good. And then a prime Lorenzo Kane. Oh, and Pauly Goldschmidt, because he's on a tear right now. And then lastly, we have a new headliners pack featuring 95 overall Robbie Ray from his Cy Young season a year ago. Has a fastball, slider, knuckle curve, circle change, and a two-seamer. 95 hits per nine. The card's not bad. He's nothing insane, though, especially with all the amazing future of the franchise cards that we got today. But I mean, Shay, you pull him, you pull him. Content schedule is going to look light for next week, because on Tuesday, we have the monthly award. 
on Tuesday, where we are going to be able to get all the Lightning Gym Rise, all the like Lightning Players, the Monthly Awards, and then Tops Now cards. So we have that coming out on Tuesday. Then we have the roster update on Friday. So it's going to be a light week next week compared to what we got this week. But be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let me know in the comments section what is your favorite card from the Future of the Franchise program. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.